Hello and welcome to Glenn's Small Engine in Greenville, Texas. In this video we're going to test the ignition coil on a steel MS-251C. If you have some reason to suspect that your coil is not firing, I'm going to show you how to test it. It's real easy. No use going and buying a coil until you test your old one. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take this cover off. The size of these screws on this steel is a Torx bit and the size is T27. What I like to do is take the plug out. It's a little easier to spin the saw over. Plus it gives you a chance to look at your plug and see if it's any good. I always like to unplug the kill wire from the coil. This just isolates the ignition coil when we're testing it. Uh, takes the on off switch out of the equation so that way if it's not firing uh, we know it's a bad coil and not something to do with the switch then you can test it again plug it in with the switch on and off if you want to just to make sure that that's working correctly what i like to use is a spark checker here with a, a gap that is almost a quarter inch uh, this coil needs to be able to jump that gap uh, when you're testing it in order to fire this plug under compression with that small gap it takes a lot more force to fire that plug under compression so when we're testing it we want to jump a almost a quarter inch if you don't have one of these testers you can make you a homemade tester with a old plug that you know is still good if you got a plug laying around there that you know is good just cut the electrode off of it to where it has to jump a, a little bit further gap uh, because if you can jump that far gap out here testing it, you, you know it'll fire under compression. So we're just going to hook this up. Uh, one end of it goes in there. The other end of it's got to go to ground. Uh, if it's not going to ground, then you know it's not going to fire. So just make sure it doesn't ground through your fingers. Uh, so make sure your switch is on. Okay, what I'm going to do is, uh, in order for you to see this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to turn this light off and zoom in so you can see it fire there. You know your ignition is cold good when it's firing that good. And uh, if you don't have a tester, like I'm saying, you can take an old plug and cut the electrode back off the end. As long as you hold that down to ground, it's not gonna shock you. Right, you can see that that's jumping my homemade spark tester just fine. I also have another fire tester here. Uh, you can buy these things that in all different shapes and sizes. As long as it's grounded, your tester is grounded to the side of the block there, it's not going to shock you. Okay, so you can see that the coil is good. We've got all kind of fire. Uh, I've tested it on three different testers. The one that I usually like to use, uh, you know, I've worked on it several times, but it, it's old like me, but it still works good. And you can buy stuff like this that uh, works pretty good. But you can see that how far that gap is there. That's the reason that is is because it it has to be able to jump that gap under test in order to fire that plug when the engine is running under compression. So if this saw wouldn't crank, you know, we'd go on to something else, uh, maybe a fuel problem or a compression problem. Uh, but we definitely would the coal would be good. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video saves you some money. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from Glenn Small Engine in Greenville, Texas. We're going to do a siphon test. What's a siphon test? We're going to see if it's working.